Sharon and Ben, this time our investigation took us to Fulton County Juvenile Court, where young men who often don't have father figures have found mentors to teach them about the consequences of bad choices through the game of chess. Uh, it has been said life is a chess game. Because life is a thinking game. It's like a strategy, man. And for these young men who've come here from the juvenile justice system, it's a game they need to win. These are kids who are on probation to the court for whatever reasons, and they need uh, community service, or they need mentoring, or they need pro-social activities. This is a life lesson, teaching them to solve problems, think critically, and plan ahead. I know you did. I was like, really? Kids need consequences. Everybody needs consequences. If I make this choice, what can happen? What are the possible repercussions? Man, I ain't going to let you make that move. There are 32 pieces. You accept it. Each providing hope. I dig that. And teaching personal responsibility. We make sure they understand that, you know, you're making a move now. So how is this move going to affect your life? These pawns are like the foot soldiers out there in the streets, you know. And they're the ones, the low-level soldiers, you know. And, this, and these... Some of these higher level pieces are some of the, the big homies out there. You know, they, you know, just related to, you know, to pieces in, in that they can relate to. Right here, they die Many of these young men don't have fathers at home. Okay, put your queen up here. They don't have a male figure to teach them how to be men. Like life, something you gotta think before you, you do something. You know, adolescence without your father or without that adult male who can kind of help you maneuver through some things, it's tough. By giving the kids this analogy of chess to life, they learn to think before they move. Great move. They learn to recognize the, the consequences of moves that they what, make. What piece can my piece take? So it's, it's really a good analogy, and the kids are learning. In two weeks, Ben takes a look at the metro area's growing gang problem and why it's not just an issue for urban neighborhoods as our teens trauma and trouble investigation continues. For CBS 46 Investigates, I'm Karen Greer.